Hi, so this is basic. Sometimes people do be in a hurry, lunch break or travelling or what so. Quick workout. All you need is a set of dumbbells. We can put the whole body just using a set of dumbbells, alright? I'm going to run through, which will be six exercises roughly for the body, which will be chest, back, obviously a leg workout, and then we walk front, uh, back of the arms, shoulders. Alright, so I'm just going to quick demonstrate. Now you can do this in a circle, like maybe 20 to 30 seconds walk, straight once at one uh, exercise after the other, or you can do something like 10 to 12 reps of each exercise, alright? So I'm going to start with a chest one. Now, if you want, you can do a basic push up, alright? I'm sure everyone knows push ups, but what I'm going to show you is, is a, a different one, which will be a floor press using the dumbbells, okay? So what you do is you need a space, you're going to come down, you're going to take your dumbbells, you're going to go through it, slap back, bend the feet up. Out the side as if you are doing the chest press and level with the chest. Right? Elbows hit the floor. Pushing up, lower down, tip the floor, straight back up. Nice and control, same move. Right, so you go for your time or whatever reps you're doing. Alright? When you're done, we're going to jump up. What you're going to go into it is a back exercise. So what I'm going to do, as simple as one will be, a bent over rock. Soft knee, tilt at your hips. Then the weights hang down, you're still keeping a flat back. So the important thing is a lot of people do is they're standing up too tall, which won't give you the workout on the back. Make sure you get over, keep a flat back and keep your head looking down. If you need a mirror, you look or return your head to neutral position. From there, you're gonna pull the weights up, keep the elbows close to the body as you pull up, pull the shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades in together. Okay, that's your back, right? I'm going to move on to a leg workout. Now I'm going to show you a back lunge was what we're going to do, but also you could do a walking lunge forward if you want. But to stay in the same spot in case you didn't have space or wanted to move around. I'm just going to do a back lunge. Now you can alternate, or you can walk one side at a time. But I'm going to alternate. What we'll do is we'll step back, drop your knee down, bring it back in, stop it with the opposite leg. Important thing here is don't step too far back in line because you might do with your balance. From there, Straight out the line so they're at a little bit of an angle and again you're making sure that your knees are not out too far past your toes. I'll do one more on either side. Done. That's your leg work out. From here we're going to move on to the smaller muscle groups so I'm going to start with shoulder. Quite simple, you can just do a, a shoulder press. One foot in front of the other, especially if you're lifting anything above your head just for balance. Okay, you're going to bring them up. We're going to do a military one, which means the dumbbells will be facing out. You could do one in close, where you're just pushing straight up. I'm going to do a military one, like so. Open out, slightly in front of your chest, pushing straight up, control it back down to where you start, just above the shoulders. Okay, that's your shoulder workout. We're going to work onto the bicep now, front of the arm. Quite simple again, we're just going to stand, we're going to do curls with a twist. Now you can alternate or do them both at the same time, I'm going to alternate, okay? Up nice and tall, keep your shoulders back, curl, twist them in, back down, up to one go. And got shoulders, elbows stay in line with one another. I'm going to do one more either side. And that's your voice set curl. The so last one now is the opposite, you're going to walk the back of the arm. Now, yeah, there's a few ways you can use, you can do this with the two dumbbells or you can drop it down and do a one, right? What I'm going to do is drop down and do a one, but if you are doing a one, you'll probably be able to take one an extra little bit of weight up than what you have in your hand. Alright, so you're only going to use one. So put one down, you're going to put the dumbbell for both hands, okay? You're going to bring it up above your head, one foot front of the other again. What you're going to do is bring your elbows in, okay? And they stay in this position here. Elbows face the ceiling, you stand up and back down. Don't let the elbows come out to the side like this, it's not really working. Keep them in nice and close. And that's your full body working. 